Hi, and welcome to our travel talk today, doing an affordable transit across the United States. It's going to be fun. Staying in hostels, tent camping, camping outdoors. Our first stop is the High Boston Hostel, located in Boston. And don't just think that Boston is a stuffy town because of all of the history in Boston. There's all sorts of things to do in Boston. You can book your stay at the Boston High Boston Hostel. They have also 15% off on a spring getaway. A little bit about the basics. It's check in at 4 p.m., check out at 11 a.m. I also found out that the highusa.org hostel is a franchise or something like that. It is an organization, at least. It has a standardization towards their hostels, which helps a lot when you're staying at places to know a little bit about the organization. We have private with a sweet bath, premium dorm, or a standard dorm with six people. I guess this is probably at 19 Stewart Street, wherever the heck that is in here. I don't know if this is it or if this is the center of Boston. But 19, and here's your phone number you can call. Nice place to stay. I guess you can have membership at the hostel too. See, membership, the Beach Community National Park U.S. Hostels has a membership. Probably get you a discount. Benefits a membership right here. Look it up, 3,000 hostels. Even have Hawaii hostels. Our next stop is the Broadway Hotel Hostel. Or is it just Broadway Hotel? I'm not sure, but I think it's a hotel. What does it say? It says Hotel and Hostel, located in Manhattan, two miles of Frederick Douglass Playground. Must be a big playground for when you bring your kids to the hostel. You never know. And the thing that really amazed me about this place, oh, look at all the places to eat nearby, is look at the room. They say that they have a room rate that is $34 a night, the lowest price. I wonder what year that was from. And then here's some comments. They have 8.4 from all the guest reviews, 699 reviews. That's not bad. One of the things that I saw was that the Wi-Fi was only available down near the lobby. So you might not have Wi-Fi in the rooms. Next, we have the Shenandoah Park in Virginia. Beautiful, beautiful views. You have summer in Shenandoah. You have the old RAG pilot project. Backcountry permitted system. In other words, you can have take out a permit and go hike the backcountry. Go hiking on a day hike. You can sign up for Shenandoah Alerts, which is a really good idea, especially this uh, season with the Canadian fires. They actually are monitoring the uh, air quality in the parks, a lot of the parks. Then you get campgrounds, Shenandoah National Association, lots of associations to join. Basics, camp, hike, and learn. Learn about the park. I thought it was really cool that they have webcams. Now, they might still be light enough, yes. If it's, seeing as it's summer, if this was in winter, this would probably be dark now. And this is the live feed. Next we have, in Austin, Texas, the Firehouse Hostel, which is amazing. This is a hostel, which is also a speakeasy or bar down below. It has speakeasy charm, the Firehouse Lounge, accessible. And then 
looks like a lot of fun. Just down there, listen to casual music. Here's our bartenders. Here's all the people having fun. I bet they didn't even have to pay guests to take their pictures down there. Then nestled in the heart of downtown Austin. Doesn't that look like fun? And they have all sorts of rooms that are amazing. Suite with a private bath, a Euro room with a shared bath, deluxe room, economy dorm, all sorts of fun. And that's in Austin, downtown Austin. We have the El Cosmico, which is an amazing place in Texas also. At least I think it's in Texas. Let's see. Transpicos Festival, where are we located? It's in here somewhere. Somewhere. The cool thing about this place is you stay in, either in a trailer or a yurt or something else because they have all sorts of things in here. Here's a picture of an inside of a trailer. Nice painting. And let's see what the shelter says. This is the shelter. And so we have Cosmic Casita. We have Bush Tech tents. We have trailers, teepees, safari tents, yurts, self-camping, bring your own tent, the bright building, the jupe tent, and offers and add-ons, all sorts of things. Now contact, how do we contact these people? We contact them in Marfa, Texas. Yep, still in Texas. Oh, this is their clothing line also. They have a clothing line. Another high USA, and that was the one in San Francisco. So let's type it back in there. I, oh, actually we got two of them. One in uh, Fishman's Wharf and one at uh, San Francisco. That was the one I was on. San Francisco High France, San Francisco Downtown Hostel. We can book our stay down there, or we could stay down near Fisherman's Wharf if we wanted. The High Hostel, highusa.org is the uh, name of the group of hostels. And it's just really amazing. So there's membership, and there's also a lot of information about various places where they have them. California, Hawaii, Oregon. Then we also have National Park Service for Olympic National Park in Washington, the state of Washington. Hurricane Ridge area has been uh, affected because they had a June 27th fire. That's not too long ago. Portion of the North Ridge Shore Road is closed and everything else. This is a national park, so you can plan your visit and going into there. Look at that. Basic information, direction, transportation. You can camp in the park. You can have places to go around there, hike around there, trip ideas, calendar of events. What's going on in July? There's got to be something going on in July here. Uh, this is July, and let's see, we're on the 10th. And will they come up? Nothing came up. Ah, here we go. Every weekday on Saturday and Sunday, we have nothing going on. <laughs> so much for their calendar. And then this is the Hurricane Ridge also, and a little bit more information about the Hurricane Post Fire. And entry, the first 175 can enter at the heart of the hills entrance station on hurricane ridge road and after that 175 the next 170 vehicles will be metered at the entrance station that is our trip across the united states economically places that you haven't even heard about and just lots of fun love you all bye bye